Deuteronomy, the fifth book of Moses, chapter 9. Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day, to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities great and first up to heaven, a people great and tall, the children of the Anakims, whom thou knowest, and of whom thou hast heard say, Who can stand before the children of Anak? Understand therefore this day, that the Lord thy God is he which goes over before thee. As a consuming fire he shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before thy face. So shalt thou drive them out, and destroy them quickly. As the Lord has said unto thee, Speak not thou in thine heart. After that the Lord thy God has cast them out from before thee, saying, For my righteousness the Lord has brought me in to possess this land. But for the wickedness of these nations the Lord does drive them out from before thee. Not for thy righteousness, or for the uprightness of thine heart. Dost thou go to possess their land? But for the wickedness of these nations, the Lord thy God does drive them out from before thee. And that he may perform the word which the Lord swore unto thy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Understand therefore, that the Lord thy God gives thee not this good land to possess it for thy righteousness. For thou art a stiff-naked people. Remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God to wrath in the wilderness, from the day that thou didst depart out of the land of Egypt, until ye came unto this place. You have been rebellious against the Lord. Also in Horeb ye provoked the Lord to wrath, so that the Lord was angry with you to have destroyed you. When I was gone up into the mouth to receive the tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant which the Lord made with you, then I abode in the mouth forty days and forty nights, neither did I eat nor drink water. And the Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone written with the, the finger of God. And on them was written according to all the words which the Lord spoke with you in the mount out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of forty days and forty nights that the Lord gave me the two tablets of stone, even the tablets of the covenant. And the Lord said unto me, Arise, get thee down quickly from hence. For thy people which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They are quickly turned aside out of the way which I have commanded them. They have made them a molten image. Furthermore, the Lord spake unto me, saying, I have seen these people, and behold, it is a stiff naked people. Let me alone, that I may destroy them and brought out their name from under the heaven. And I will make of thee a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mouth, and the mouth burnt with fire, and the two tables of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked, and, behold, ye had sinned against the Lord your God, and had made you a mountain cup. Ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. And I took the two tables and cast them out of my two hands, and brought them before your eyes. And I fell before the Lord, as at the first forty days and forty nights. I did neither eat bread nor drink water, because of all your sins which ye sinned, in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure, wherewith the Lord was wrought against you to destroy you. 
But the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. And the Lord was very angry with Aaron to have destroyed him. And I prayed for Aaron also at the same time. And I took your sin, the calf which ye had made, and burnt it with fire, and stamped it, and ground it very small, even until it was as small as dust. And I cast the dust thereof into the brook that descended out of the mountains. And at Tabera, and at Massa, and at Kibrothe Hatava, ye provoked the Lord to wrath. Likewise, when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then ye rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and ye believed him not, nor hearkened to his voice. Ye have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. Thus I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights. As I fell down at the first, because the Lord had said he would destroy you. I prayed therefore unto the Lord, and said, O Lord God, destroy not thy people, and thy knee in houses, which thou hast redeemed through thy greatness, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Look not unto the stubbornness of these people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin. Least the land whence thou brought us out say, because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he had brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. Yet they are thy people and thine heart, which thou brought out by thy might's power, and by thy stretched out arm, um, 